Uh, it's perfectly possible, and in fact it will happen, that uh, as uh, the 40th president of the United States takes office today, there will not be a uh, confirmed secretary of state. Uh, that will come later. The Senate is going to vote on some nominations this afternoon, but Howard Baker, uh, the Senate majority leader, says they will not get to the Secretary of State nomination, even if there is an Iranian crisis still hanging. When do they get away from of course, he can uh, function uh, as such, uh, practically, uh, except in signing any papers that would uh, have to be official. And now, uh, President-elect Reagan and Mrs. Reagan driving back the uh, two and a half blocks uh, to Blair House. Everything is going almost perfectly on schedule here. As a matter of fact, they're just a few minutes uh, early, uh, Bruce and Bob. They were supposed to finish the church service at 10 o'clock, and it's just 10 o'clock now. Uh, 10 o'clock here in Washington, and it is 6.30 p.m. in Tehran. And we still haven't had word that that's, those Algerian planes have taken off with the hostages, although it's expected at any moment. Outside Blair House uh, on Pennsylvania Avenue, down which we see the president-elect cavalcade coming now, is Bill Plant. Bill? Walter, here is the uh, president-elect's limousine just now pulling up to the front of Blair House. Let's see if we can get him to stop and talk to us. In the back, just uh, President-elect and Mrs. Reagan, and about to go back into Blair House, where they'll remain for another half hour or so before going to the White House. Governor, can you tell us about the, uh, can you tell us about the service, please? Any special prayers today? And here's the governor, accompanied by the escort committee, Senator Mark Hatfield, Representative John Rose. Governor, leave word on the hostage situation. Nothing since he came in on the hostage situation, Walter. And they're getting in the car, getting ready to make that trip across the street, a very brief one to be sure, to meet the Carters in the blue room for coffee. They'll be escorted, as we said, by the inaugural committee. That's Representative John Rhodes getting into the car now, standing at the car, Senator Mark Hatfield of Oregon. They will escort the Reagans to the Capitol for the inauguration itself. We'll probably see another one of those famous U-turns, and in these long limousines, Walter, that's a little bit difficult, but they manage. Pennsylvania Avenue, of course, blocked off. There are bleachers set up on both sides of the street for the parade, which is going to be happening later this afternoon. There they go, and it is a U-turn. They'll be followed on foot by members of the press pool, and we'll escort them to the White House gates. Uh, we wondered why he didn't walk. Uh, we suppose that it's because the Secret Service prefers it this way. We're never, we're never quite sure. And of course, the essence of good protection, they always tell us, is never to do the same thing the same way twice. So maybe in four years, whoever is going across the street or to the Capitol will, <laughs> will walk. The limousine, which you can probably just barely see, is pulling up to the northwest gate of the White House. Uh, and I guess we'll proceed down in front of the White House now, around to the south, and then come up uh, in one of the uh, southern gates. Walter? We can see on our uh, picture here, Bill, that the stands across from Blair House are notably empty. Uh, that's because they're not available to the general public at this hour of the day. Uh, those stands have, uh, have reserved seats uh, for the parade uh, this afternoon, and until those people arrive with their tickets for the parade, and there's a given hour when they can do that, uh, they're not available to the public at all. And now we see the present Lex car going through the northwest gate of the White House there on Pennsylvania Avenue. Uh, this is the last time uh, Ronald Reagan will go through those gates as a civilian, at least for the next uh, four years. The next time uh, will be when he returns down the, to the White House from the Capitol as the 40th President of the United States. A short drive up the magnificent uh, uh, north grounds of the White House uh, to the portico entrance uh, of the uh, pillared entrance of the uh, east side of the White House, which incidentally was originally designed as the back door of the White House, but has been considered the front door for most of its years. Jim McManus is at that North Portico. Jim, come in. Yeah, 
Yes, Walter, the uh, Reagan limousine has just pulled up here outside the uh, north entrance of the White House underneath the great columns of this portico. President Mrs. Carter now just stepping down from the top step. The greeting, the President shaking hands with uh, Mr. Reagan. The warm greeting that we saw exemplified here just a few minutes ago when Vice President Mondale and Mrs. Mondale were here to greet the Vice President-elect and his wife, Mr. and Mrs. George Bush. President, uh, up close, Walter looks remarkably well for a man who spent uh, last night uh, working on the hostage crisis during the uh, thing, uh, a second long night for him. 